Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Run Academy Need English channel. I believe all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, yesterday I could not make any video about the Supreme Court hearing, right? Because I was in Chennai for the offline visit. Uh, but yesterday night only I saw the complete video, right? Uh, which was about the re-need, etc, etc. Wherein there are few very important points which we need to take into consideration, which directly gives us the hint that re-need might happen. First of all, if you see in the yesterday's video, whatever happened in the Supreme Court. First of all, there were two types of students in the Supreme Court. The first type of students were uh, wanting the re-need to happen. The other type of the students, they were not in favor of the re-need examination, right? Number one. Point number two, it was confirmed. It was confirmed that the paper leak has happened not in just Bihar. It has happened in the state of Jharkhand. It has happened in the state of Delhi. It has happened in the state of uh, Patna, it has happened in the state of Gujarat. Till now, we only knew that the paper leak happened in Patna. But in the yesterday's video, we clearly got to know that the paper leak, it has not only happened in the state of, uh, I mean, in the state of Bihar, it has happened in the other states too. How come we got to know about that? Because in all these states, FIRs have been lodged, which we did not know till date, right? That FIRs have been lodged in Delhi, Jharkhand, right? In Gujarat, there were certain hints, but it was not confirmed that the paper leak has happened in Gujarat. But from the yesterday's, uh, from the yesterday's video, right, which came out from the Supreme Court, it was clearly stated that paper leak has happened. Now, it's 100% sure that the paper leak has happened in these four states. Perfect. Now, my dear students, on 11th of July, that means on day after tomorrow, we are 100% going to know in what, what are the other states? Are, are there any sort of other states wherein the paper leak has happened? Supreme Court has asked for that uh, clarification too. Point number one. Point number two. Was social media involved? Social media includes your WhatsApp and Telegram, right? This was the second question asked by the Supreme Court, right? Well, it was, I could clearly see from the video, the judges of the Supreme Court, they had already, they had already the uh, they had already basically deep in they had already seen the case in the detailed manner they already knew what they were asking basically they already had planned what they are going to ask right and that was a good sign for all the students because if there is a discrepancy happening right we should know about it and supreme court was fully prepared yesterday right with all the questions which i'm going to let you know like what happened was social media involved right was social media involved this was the second question which was asked by the judges right if WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, if it was involved in the paper leak, then definitely, definitely the paper leak has happened in the large scale, right? Okay, so what Supreme Court wants, they, wants the, they want the verification of this particular point as well, which is going to come to us on 11th. And my dear students, if social media, which involves your Telegram, Instagram and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the WhatsApp, if it was involved, definitely the paper leak has happened on a large scale, then the chance of re are definitely going to be very, very, very high. Right? Why did NTA open the registration for the second time? This was one more question which was asked by the judges. Perfect. Why did NTA ask the registration for the second time? Okay. This was not the only question. The other question, the sub question of this particular question. This was the main question. Why did NTA open the registration for the second time? And when they opened the registration for the second time, right? Those students who registered for the second time, they want the details of those students and they want to exactly see whether there is any topper from those students who registered for the second time for the NEET 2024 examination. And if that comes out to be, if there comes out to be a glimpse of certain things, like if there comes out to be certain students, right, who scored 720 out of 720 and they registered for the second time, they're from that category, then definitely again, the chance of re-NEET is definitely high, right? Now, this is something which is new. Perfect. We did not. We, we educators, we did not know about this one. Why some students travel to Gujarat, right? See, if the date is happening in the state of Tamil Nadu, perfect. So all the students from Tamil Nadu, they'll be writing the NEET examination in Tamil Nadu only, right? They won't be having center in some other state. They won't be having center in Delhi. They won't be having center in Jharkhand. No, right? So, so this was one more important question, which basically, I mean, this was something new to us. This might be uh, new to you as well. Right? This was the question framed. Why students from other states travel to Gujarat? Right? In Gujarat, we got to know there was a paper leak which happened in Gujarat. Then why, stu why some students, they travel to Gujarat and the Supreme Court wants the details of those students as well. And if one of the students also is scoring 720 out of 70 among those students who travel to Gujarat, right? Then definitely again, there's a chance for renewed my dear students, right? And this, this is something which we already knew. How come seven, uh, 61 students can score 720 out of 720, right? This was one more question. And there was, there was one major concern related to the paper leak, 
uh, case which happened in the northeastern part of the country too. So these are few pointers, my dear students, uh, which basically NTA has to come up with. They should, they are going to reply to all these questions on 11th of this month, right, on Thursday, perfect. And if one of these questions, which was framed by the judges of Supreme Courts uh, to NTA, if one of the question, right, if they could not get the satisfactory answer to these questions, I'm pretty much sure there are very high chances then the renate will happen, perfect. So my dear students, I know, I know, a lot of students among you, right, they prepared day and night for the NEET examination, they qualified it, they got good scores, more than 650, 660, 670, right? It's, it's a very tough situation right now, because a lot of students asking for the re-NEET, a lot of students are not asking for the re-NEET, and majority of the students are not asking basically for the re-NEET. But it's not about re-NEET or no re-NEET, it's about, it's about discrepancies happening in the top-notch examination of the country, perfect? So let's hope for the best. Right, let's see exactly on Thursday what Supreme Court will come, will come up to, right, will come up with. Perfect, so we need to make ourselves mentally ready because you never know whether re -neat or neat is going to happen. I'm just telling you the possibilities. These were the questions framed by the judges of Supreme Court to the NTA and if they could not get a satisfactory answer to one of these questions also, then definitely the chances of re -neat examination is becoming higher and higher, right? So this was the conclusion of the yesterday's a hearing in the Supreme Court. I just wanted to share it with all of you. So with this, I'll be taking care. Will be with this, I'll be taking a leave. You guys take care. God bless you all and love you all, guys. Bye bye. Take care.